వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ మెరైన్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ సేలర్ భాష సో ఇన్ మై లాస్ట్ టూ వీడియోస్ యూ హ్యాడ్ సీన్ హౌ టు ఓవరాల్ ప్యూరిఫయర్ ఫీట్ పంప్ విచ్ ఈస్ అటాచ్డ్ టు ప్యూరిఫయర్ దిస్ ఇస్ పార్ట్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ దట్ సేమ్ వీడియో దిస్ విల్ బి ద లాస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వీడియో సో దిస్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ వుడ్ ట్రై టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ సంథింగ్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు అసెంబుల్ ఫీట్ పంప్ which is a gear type please watch the video let's go and check the video okay so uh, i show you how to uh, disassemble a gear pump of a purifier feed pump so uh, again i am telling you the parts for this gear pump this part is your casing this is your casing and this is your inner casing this part your inner casing so whenever you do uh, any overall you have to ensure this inner casing surface is free of any kind of uh, marking score marking something like that if you find any damage in it definitely it will affect your gear teeth so that is the reason you have to examine the body very carefully when you are doing doing in doing your overall Let's see the body here you can see the body condition this uh, body is free there is no any kind of uh, scar uh, scoring mark no any damage it is exactly in a good condition so now i can uh, box up this gear pump so this is your uh, bush yeah? basically this this uh, gear pump don't have a bearing like uh, other pump have ball bearing or uh, roller bearing like but in this case this bush is a bearing the bush acts as a bearing so this bearing has a slot uh, you can see a slot over here you can see a slot you can see a slot over here which goes through inner inner side of the bush the reason is this slot uh, will be always in the suction side of the pump so what will it do is it creates a oil pressure and uh, it will give the oil towards your gear so that the suction for the gear will be easy it gives a way to your gears okay so this is your uh, push for suction side and this is your bush for discharge side means top side so this is your uh, casing this is your suction and uh, sorry this is your uh, discharge and this one is your suction side so how you can make out uh, which is suction and which which is discharge so this is your uh, relief valve so relief valve you can see i had uh, already made a marking before opening it you can see the marking over here direction it is showing towards this that means when the pressure is increases inside the pump the relief valve lift and it will uh, allow the oil to flow back to the suction side so that means this part is your suction side so okay and uh, this is your uh, drive shaft and this is your slot so this slot will be connected to your purifier horizontal shaft this is your gear so whenever you open a gear gear pump you have to ensure all your gear uh, nips ends or in a good condition no damage nothing so this is your uh, drive shaft with gear and this is your drive and gear with shaft so this kind of uh, there are uh, lot many types of gears if you you would have heard about spur gear and all but uh, this is some different kind of uh, సైడ్ సో ఐ పుట్ ద బుష్ ఇన్ ద సక్షన్ సైడ్ 
So before reinstalling, ensure your uh, casing is clean. Put some oil. very carefully so that uh, you don't mismatch sometime it get uh, stuck so that we will get issues in fixing back so if you want to hit hit with a uh, wooden stick don't use any metal because it's a uh, brass so it will get damaged You can see, yeah. You can see. So the pushing arrangement should be like this. So oil, when it comes, the oil pressure will be created, and it will gives weight to your suction of your pump. So this is your driving shaft. So you can see the pushing arrangement is kept in this way. Actually, this way is recommended by maker to fit the. Uh, suction side push in this way so that the oil coming from the suction side will get a yeah, pressure created through this groove and this will support for your uh, gears to take suction and deliver it to the discharge side so this is your uh, driving shaft eh? this is your driving shaft and putting it okay so how we know that the efficiency of the uh, gear pump is this how it gets this if the gap here the gap i'll put the drive and shaft uh, driving gear also so both the gear are in place so what happens is when the ga gap between the gear and the casing increases instead of oil flowing out through this way oil will start escaping from this way between the gap so that is very important always to ensure your wear is being checked before you are boxing up so here there is no abnormality so there won't be any issues and you can see here yeah, the clearance is there but if the clearance is poor your your oil will escape to the casing side and it won't get trapped between your that is the reason that i say how to check your casing properly and your gear to also properly and this is your o-ring the o-ring is in place and next is your top bearing top push
uh, missing. So whenever we are uh, overhauling our gear pump, always check the condition of your uh, push. Always check the condition of your driving shaft, driver shaft, gear to casing condition. If the clearance is more, please check for the maker's recommendation for uh, clearances. If it is more, then we have to change it. Change your driving gear or your entire casing. So I believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to overhaul a seat pump which is attached to a purifier. Thanks for watching and if you have any comment please put in comment box definitely I will reply you. Thank you guys.